time for the main event as we get going. Ten rounds from the University of Texas, El Paso, Raul Curiel. Trained with Freddie Roach, wildcard gym in Hollywood, California. Desde Tamaulipas, Mexico. 2016 Mexican Olympian, Ferdinand Lucky Boy Corobia from North Hollywood, California. He has some pop, he has some power, so it should be a good one as they go back and forth. Beth Duran, Sulem, Urbina, Sulem, how do you see this one coming out? I'm very excited about this one because they're both heavy hitters, you know, uh, and they actually know each other. They've sparred each other a few times already, so I'm wondering if they're going to get started right away. Yeah, they know each other. They've been on a lot of cards together. This fight was going to happen eventually. They both knew it. Roberto Diaz, Golden Boy matchmaker, let me know. And it was uh, it's Golden Boy against Golden Boy tonight. This is a fight that definitely, you know, it, the winner is going to have a, a huge step in the in the right direction. Um I like the way Kerobian, you know, pops that jab. Let the Ariola checking in. Lita Kerobian checking in. Josue Martinez checking in. Salvador Carrillo, a big fan of Jeremiah Gallegos, as we see the comments that you guys have on the Facebook app. Curiel with the left hook. Started training with Manny Robles when he turned pro out of Mexico. Made the switch to Freddie Roach. He uh, also trains with Joselito Vasquez, a Mexican Olympian. They both live together. They both train with Freddy. Saludos a Joselito, el campeón de México que nos está mirando ahorita en el centro de Los Ángeles. Joselito Velasquez. And, um, there you yeah. go. Him too. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're my former teammates back from uh, the amateurs. We're all at the Olympic Center in Mexico City. Yeah. Yeah, Joselito Velasquez, saludos a él, and Curiel went to the Olympics in 2016. Brazil came down with food poisoning and did not fight. And here he is as a professional now with a 9-0 record. Corobian will come at you. Corobian will stand right in front of you. You will ha not have trouble finding Corobian tonight. No, Corobian's right there. He's in his face. He's popping that jab. He's throwing those big punches, you know. Um, Curiel's moving uh, to the side and making him miss that right hand, you know. But um, it's definitely going to be an exciting fight. Corobian will load up, but he will also open himself up. And his battle with Blair Cobb in 2019 at the Avalon in Hollywood was one of the best fights I've ever worked. They just stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and went back at it. You know, I want to. I, I like how Curiel is, is popping that jab. I also want to see him, you know, start going to the body. I think that's his signature punch. I love how he throws that gancho to to the liver. And um, as the rounds go on, I'm sure we're gonna see that. Second round of action coming your way, Raul Curiel in the red and white, the Mexican, Tamalipas. Lucky boy, Ferdinand Corobian. Corobian also played basketball in high school, has a huge following anytime he fights in Southern California. Ferdinand, last fought in 2020, January at the Hangar in Costa Mesa, got a second round knockout, and then COVID hit. So it's the first time that he gets back into the ring for Curiel. His fight was in January of this year, American Airlines Arena. He got a second round stop is Ramses Agaton. 
Correa looks good. At times he was having trouble making the 47, so he'd be fighting at 50 or 51. And But the discipline is there now from the Mexican fighter. El Cougar is his nickname. It's not because he's an animal, not because he's a cougar. Curiel is his last name, but it's Raul Curiel Garcia. So he combined Curiel and Garcia to C-U-G-A-R, Cougar. See, all these years I've known him, I never knew that. I always wondered. That's <laughs> why so I'm a professional celebrity, Rubina. Call that show prep. Ferdinand Karobian called Lucky Boy by his family because he's that kid who would win every card game, every board game, every gambling game. It doesn't matter. And it's like, oh, I got him beat, I got him beat. He would find a way to get it done. So the families just started calling him Lucky Boy and it stuck with him. He's that kid you just don't want to gamble with. And here he is as a pro, as a pro fighter. Karobian is starting to, to mix in the body shots very well. A straight right hand to the body. Uh, Curiel is moving very well to, to the left. And Karobian doesn't seem to cut off the ring. He just lets him move. Good body yeah, shot landed Karobian. right there by Karobian. Yeah, you see, Karobian's going to load up on the shot, the big shots. He likes his power. This is about the pace that the fight's going to go. Both bouncing around, both moving around. This is a good fight. You know, it's it's very evenly matched. They're both in there. Nobody's starting to dominate just yet. Shot landed by Curiel. Kirobian answers with a one-two of his own. Curiel seems to be, you know, setting his feet a little better now, going forward a little more. Beth Duran, Suleiman Rabina, who will be fighting for a 112-pound title on July 9th. Right now you're watching Raul Curiel and Ferdinand Carobian. Saludos a toda la gente que nos está en Colombia, en México. Hello to our friends up north in Canada, eh? Honored you're watching us with a... Oh, you are, of course. Salvador Carrillo says Cougar's moving too much for my liking. Do you agree with that, Salem? I think he's he's getting you know the rounds and he's trying to figure out uh, how to uh, you know break down Carobian. But I think at the la the end of that round, uh, he planted himself a little more and you know started landing uh, punches. I think he's going to start to switch it up a little bit. Wepa, saludos to la gente. In Puerto Rico. Right now, Mofongo would be amazing. Sure would. Here we go. Third round. No, not you, Salem. You're on a diet. You're no. <laughs> Curiel bouncing around in the red and white. This is the most I've seen him move around, though. Usually, he's just staying still. I think it's his fourth fight now with Freddie Roach. Skills. I think yeah. he hasn't had to, you know, really move around too much. He, you know, depending on the opposition, but now he's facing a stronger opponent in Karobian. So, you know, he has to be smarter and mix things up. And like I said, in this this round, he's actually not moving as much as he was the first couple of rounds. Curiel is fluent. He's bilingual. He taught himself to speak English by watching TV. But he was just here. I love languages. And he said, if I'm going to fight in the United States, I better be able to do interviews in English. And one of the first times he was in Vegas, he got to the dais and at the press conference, spoke in fluent English. I'm like, all right, good for you. Very impressive, talented young man. Lucky boy, Ferdinand Karobian in the white. Started off in the club scene in Los Angeles back in 2017. He was fighting at QC's 2020 in Montebello. Got the eye of Golden Boy. Started boxing at the Belasco. Then he fought at Fancy Springs. 
Stop Lucius Johnson at the forum. And then after that, more Golden Boy shows. Belasco, Avalon. So he's been around. Roberto Diaz likes him. He brings a crowd. He's a fun fighter. He's exciting to watch. I mean, look at him. He's going forward. He wants a fight. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's entertainment. And he entertains. Yeah, this is an entertaining fight. Even the people who don't watch boxing and watch this, like, oh, I like this. Like, Tony Contreras, who's a casual boxing fan, is watching this right now. He's like, okay, I'll dig this. I like how Karovian is throwing those straight punches to the to the body. Right hand landed by Curiel. Solid right by the Mexican. Doubles up the jab, another right. Closing out the wrong round strong is Curiel. That'll do it for three. Yeah, he started really landing that right hand. Hopefully he starts following it up. I think that's going to be a, a, a good game changer for him. Meanwhile, Karobian is doing very, very well going forward, staying aggressive. Uh, throwing straight punches to the body, uh, staying on his jab. It's an exciting fight. And Curiel not sitting down between rounds. You like that? You know, sometimes uh, it's, it's better. Sometimes when you sit down, uh, your legs get a little more tired. And uh, for some reason, it takes you out of your rhythm sometimes. Uh, I've done it. it it's it feels good to stand up and I mean you stand up all the time in sparring so it's not like it's not doable you know in El Paso Texas Corobian and Curiel going back and forth body shot from Corobian Bouncing around. Guliet not bouncing around as much, is he? He's not. He's, he's staying there. He's throwing good combinations and then moving out of the way, but not really uh, moving as much. Yeah, conditioning for Corobia looks good. Curiel looking tired here at the end of the fourth round. 112 pounds. Uh, Celeb, can I get some tickets? Of course, I got you. <laughs> See, don't say that now because now all of a sudden, hey, Celeb, what about me? Can I get tickets? No, you know, I'm very fortunate that, you know, my friends, my family, and uh, my fans, they all support me and they know, they understand that. You know, uh, we need you guys to purchase these tickets, so. <laughs> okay, hear that, hear that, purchase your tickets, Um, except for me, I get free ones. All right, here we go, fifth round of action, Raul Curiel, Ferdinand Carobia, and don't even call the lens husband or manager or trainer, porque no hay nada para nadie. But right now it's a good one, Curiel and Carobian, fifth round, scheduled for 10, and not much separation between the two. They're both in there. Uh, it's a good fight. Um, I liked how in this round, Curiel started coming forward a little more. Um, he came out as the bell rang and caught Karobian flush. Um, Karobian, though, he's, you know, he has a chin. Yeah, they're, uh, they were looking at the right eye of Curiel between rounds, too. Yeah, Karobian uh, has been really busy. He has a solid jab. Body shot from Karobian. Curiel said that was low. We're right on the belt. It looks like Karobian looking fresh here in these middle rounds. Curiel starting to breathe from the mouth, Sulem. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Uh, while Karobian, you know, he's still coming forward. He needs to double up more on that 
right on that jab and throw the right hand a little lower to the chest. Uh, he's throwing it a little too high. If he brings it down a little more, I believe he'll catch Curiel. Curiel holding. Yeah, first three rounds, Curiel was bouncing around, bouncing around, spring chicken, and now, se le está acabando el gas. Yeah, he's looking sloppy the last two rounds. And Ferdinand seems to be landing that right hand pretty mm -hmm. well and often. Trying to slip is Curiel, trying to get away. Corobian cuts the corner. Gets him into the corner. Right hand from Karobian. Best shot of the night. Another strong right hand from Karobian. Curiel holds on. Lucky boy loading up on that right. Uppercut from Curiel followed by a quick left hook. Taking another deep breath is the Mexican. Curiel in red. Body work from Karobian. Curiel trying to hold on. Strong round for the Armenian, Ferdinand, lucky boy, Karobian. Yeah, Karobian needs to really go after that body. Uh, it seems to be doing more damage than the punches upstairs, you know. Hit the body and the head will fall. Hit the body, head will fall. Spoken like a veteran fighter. Freddie Roach had a victory today with Blair Cobbs getting the stoppage. What's he doing now with Raul Curiel? And Curiel this time sits down for the first time between rounds. He started feeling, I think uh, he's, you know, he needs to focus, take some deep breaths in there, uh, recover well, and uh, come back strong because Karobian is, you know, uh, switching into a, a, another gear and he looks good. Team Coriel fans starting to get a little pressure on their side. And Coriel comes out, holds on immediately. He doesn't look good right now, does he? He looks like he's getting a little fatigued. Uh, Corobian he still looks fresh. He's coming forward and uh, I don't know that swelling in that right eye also. Yes, it's only on the right eye of Raul Curiel. So Freddie Roach with Blair Cobb's victory. Gabe Rosado victory. His fighter right now, Raul Curiel, battling with Ferdinand Corobian. Lucky boy in the white from the valley, the 818, the great 18. He's looking strong. Yeah, he just throwing one, two, three, four punches at a time. Nothing back from Curiel. Karobin's punches look very, very solid, uh, while uh, uh, Curiel's punches seem to have lost some power. Yeah, there's no zip from the punches of Raul Curiel right now. He's in there. He's throwing some punches. It's just you can see the, the difference, you know, in the solidness from uh, Karobian. It's like Karobian doesn't respect any kind of his power, right? He's just coming after him now. Overhand right from Karobian. That moves Curiel back who holds on. Less than a minute to go in the sixth round. Another overhand right. Curiel can show he can take it, but for how much longer? Moving back and forth. 
And Guriel is holding on any time he can. Lucky boy with the hook. Guriel is wobbly right now. And holding on, referees have to separate the two. Lucky boy just jumps at him. Guriel is doing the right thing, you know, hugging anytime he gets the opportunity to do so. And Ferdinand doing the right thing. He's holding you. Just keep on hitting until the referee separates you two. Final seconds of the sixth round. A strong round for lucky boy Ferdinand Karobian. He's the B-side tonight. He's not looking like it through, midway through the fight. Karobian came to Ooh. win tonight. Uh-oh. Rosal got up. He's moving. Something happened. We head to the seventh round. It's scheduled for 10. Karobian's fan on Facebook are going wild right now. They're sensing that their guy is looking good. Curiel comes out throwing punches, and Karobian answers him immediately. Referee lets him work out. Like, everything is just on Karobian's side right now, isn't it, Salem? Definitely. And then uh, Curiel, you know, leans over, holds, whatever it does. And like you mentioned, Karobian uh, punches. He stays busy. He just looks more solid, stronger. Body work this time for Karobian. Thank you for joining us on the Golden Boy Fight Night. This will be on Facebook. Make sure you go to the Golden Boy Instagram, Twitter. Get all the information from what happened today in El Paso. Excellent job by the Golden Boy social media pages, the media and entertainment department, getting you all the information behind the scenes looks. Right now, Joselito Velasquez is telling him, Vámonos, Curiel. But this is where you got to dig deep, right, Salem? You've been here before. Yeah, you got to dig deep, see how much, show how much you really want it. Uh, Curiel, he's still in there, you know. He It looks like uh, Karobian slowed down a little bit in this round. I don't know if he's taking this round off, like Tonyo Diaz would say, but uh, hey. Curiel is in there. He's just, he's just taking a break. So Sometimes you just need to just take that. round I win all out this one I just need to catch my breath uh, personally uh, I don't I haven't done it yet but I've seen uh, more experienced fighters do it I what? think I mean I just fought my first eight rounder so I haven't been there yet <laughs> but that's that's also interesting too because in the women you guys only have two minute rounds I know you're an advocate for having the three minutes so there's no time for you to take a break no, two minutes go by so fast. You can't. You can't do that in the, in a female fight. Yeah, gradually they're trying to increase it to three. Yeah, I hope they increase our pay too, though. <laughs> gradually they'll increase your pay, Salim. <laughs> hey, you get win fight for a world title. Things have changed. Your life can change. You'll see Salim in a world title fight July 9th. On the zone, big right hand from Karobian. Another overhand right from Karobian. Curiel answers with one, two of his own, but there's no, nothing behind him. There's no power behind Curiel. Curiel's uh, fighting with his mouth open, and Karobian is you know, just walking through his punches right now. Shout out to Jay Adkins. Make sure Jay Adkins, you check out Salim Urbina, July 9th, LAFC. That's the next Golden Boy show. Surdo Ramirez against Sullivan Barrera, Jojo Diaz, Fortuna. Possibly 14 fights that day at LAFC Stadium in downtown Los Angeles. Junior Silva watching us in Germany. All right. A lot of Caribbean fans coming strong. Where are you guys watching this? I'm watching the comments right now that we have on Facebook. Type in where you're watching us from. And don't say Tijuana because we already know that's taken care of. We've had Colombia. We've had Germany. We've had, uh, what do we got? 
We have Puerto Rico. We have Canada. Eighth round, Ferdinand Karobian in white, Raul Curiel in the red. DC checking in, Dallas, Texas, New Zealand, Fort Wayne, Indiana, North Carolina, all right, Portland, Oregon, Rio Grande Valley, 951, Nova Scotia. Thanks for everybody checking out the Golden Boy Fight Night Show. It's the main event. Ferdinand Karobian looks like he's controlling this fight the last couple rounds. So, Marina. Yeah, you see uh, Karobian actually moving around a little more. Curiel seeking Karobian. Uh, I wonder what Freddie Roach told Curiel in the corner. Mabuhai to everybody in the Philippines. Wyoming, Mississippi, Hickory, Indiana. Of course, a lot of Armenian fans watching right now. Lucky boy, Karobian. And Curiel has been holding the last couple rounds, Salem. Hey, you got to do what you got to do in there. <laughs> good right hand right Finally, there. Finally, he lands a good right. Curiel, go to the body. More of that for Curiel. Eighth round, scheduled for 10. Saludos como siempre toda la gente en México. This is where Curiel needs to just step it up. He's giving away too many rounds. Uppercut, right hand from Curiel. That's what he, Freddie Roast wants him to do. Both Golden Boy fighters. Curiel is, is doing well in this round. He's actually uh, catching Karobian with the bigger punches. Curiel gets great work inside a wild card gym, you know, if you're sparring there every day. Fort Benny, Georgia checking in. All right. Much better round for, for Curiel here. Cougar needs to close it strong if he wants to get back into this. One, two, three. That's a nice move from Curiel. Moving back, Karobian. Uppercut from Curiel. Karobian eating some shots. Curiel going for it, stepping on the gas. Karobian's hands all the way down. Karobian's legs are wobbling. Cougar, can he finish this round? As Curiel, looking strong here in the eighth, takes a deep breath. Karobian got rocked with a couple of shots. And that'll do it for eight. An excellent round for Raul El Cougar Curiel. And Karobian goes back slowly to his corner. He really, really hurt Karobian in that round. That's what he needs to do. You know, he needs to come out in this next round and uh, finish that work. Jay Atkins, somebody smells blood. All right, see, Jay, you got some good comments going on. Jay, I like, I'm glad that you like our commentary too. Uh, David Martinez checking in. Excellent, excellent comments from the fans watching it right now. Some smart boxing fans watching this. Marco Deckman. What's up, Marco Deckman? Yeah, Marco, you've seen him a lot at Wild Card. Ninth round, momentum from the eighth on the side of Curiel. What can he do here in the ninth? It's scheduled for 10. Cougar with the right hand. Karobian hasn't recovered from the eighth. Karobian on instinct, eating the right hand as Curiel splits the guard. The middle rounds were all Curiel holding on. Last round, it was Curiel bringing it on with the pressure and the power. Fight has changed, Sulem. 
Fight has definitely changed. Curiel is out for the kill and Karobin can't seem to get his legs under him. He's definitely hurt. Curiel needs to stay on him, keep the pressure, work the body, and and he's going to go down. Conditioning a factor too. We saw Curiel breathing heavy between the middle rounds. Now it's Karobin who has his mouth wide open. Karobin fighting on instinct. He's not putting any kind of resistance, is Karobin in white. Time is called, the low blow. Could they have been on purpose? I don't think it was. They were just inside. I Honestly, I didn't see that it was low, but um, I could be mistaken. Well, regardless though, Karobian's gonna get a couple of seconds to recover. Because I don't think he recovered from that tough eighth round. All right, we go back into it. 1.30 to go in the ninth round. And we got time. Timekeeper fell asleep right there for a second. One, two from Curiel. Uppercut, left hook from Curiel. Those are nice shots from Cougar. He has beautiful uppercuts inside. He needs to really stay on Ferdinand if he uh, wants to uh, completely close this fight uh, in his favor. Wow. Now goes Karobian. Big chopping right hand from Curiel. It was a matter of time. He'd been working him since the eighth round. And finally, Karobian hits the deck. 45 seconds to go in the round. Curiel smelling blood. Curiel stepping on the gas. Curiel chasing Karobian around. On the ropes of Curiel. Uppercuts, and that's it. It's over. El Cuga. Raul Curiel with the ninth round. KO. Le salió lo mexicano a Raúl Curiel. And you can see the emotion on Curiel. We were talking about how he looked tired in the middle rounds. How he had gave away, away those rounds. And he came back with a huge eighth and a monster ninth. And look at that. Gabe Rosado, Blair Cobbs, and Raúl Curiel, who all trained together at Wild Card with Freddie Roach in the ring with him. What a special moment. A trio of kings right there. Very happy uh, man, Freddie Roach, tonight. You see Curiel going to the corner of Ferdinand Karobian, hugging his corner. Now hugging Karobian. A fun fight. That was a fun fight. And it was not disputed by at all by Karobian's corner. As Karobian was taking some big shots. Wow, El Cougar. You said you know him from your Olympic training today. There's been some questions in the past of how much heart does Curiel have? How bad does he want it? He showed it in the eighth and ninth round that he wants it bad. Oh, you can't question Curiel's heart. Curiel will go out on his shield, but he will always fight. Um, he, he goes out. Yeah, it was... Uh, the question of discipline early on in his career about the making the way. Now he's locked in. And, you know, that, that happens when you come in and you're the highly talented Olympian and here we go. But now this is huge for Raul Curiel. Is this is definitely a huge win in his resume, and I'm very excited to see uh, where they go next from here. That was uh, Jeremiah Gallegos. Fantastic little tuxedo he's got rocking. He's ready to bring it in. Ladies and gentlemen, here from El Paso, Texas, let's put our hands together for both of our warriors in the ring. Rogers steps in and puts a halt to this contest. The official time comes to you, 2-10, round number nine, to the winner by TKO, still undefeated, and the new NABF welterweight champion from Tamaulipas, Mexico, Raul El Cougar.
for Raul Curiel there's a Tamaulipas Mexico he gets his 10th victory a big smile on his face and Salem Rubina you know this young man this is a special moment for him isn't it very special moment he's worked his way here an Olympian you know now a pro with Golden Boy Promotions he's headed in the right direction he has the right team behind him and I'm very excited for what the future holds for him